Nope. Well, are you absolutely sure? I'm positive. Bitter? Not anymore, Pam. Champagne, please. Don't look at me like that. What you see now is a frail old man who you push the toilet and feed with a spoon, waiting to take his last breath. You've got empathy in abundance. As he told you about his poor wife, our lovely mother, whose hand he nailed to the wooden stairs because she had the audacity to ask for a stir carpet because she worried us kids might get splinters in our little feet. Get him to tell you about Christmas and we'd throw the dinner all over her. She'd worked her fingers to the bone to buy us Christmas clothes and yet he would have rather have took every bit of money we had and pissed it up against the wall in the farmer's. <gasps> oh my God, I have only got myself the job. They're going to put me up in the air, slice. Going to pick me up in the morning at half five. Oh my God, we need to celebrate. If you were a bit more attractive, I'd kiss you. Got to wear the spoons. Got the spoons or anything like that. Did you happy at what time is it? Got a minute. Sat here again. Probably wanting to know me dress size. What are they like, these production people? <laughs> Hello, Saskia? Yeah? Sure, sure, sure. It wasn't good news. They made the mistake. Got the wrong Bev. It was Bev Callard that got the job. Oh, I forgot my tights. It's oh, been done for without them. So this is uh, my new my new venture. Bev's Batman Blantet experience, you should say. Because this is the actual location for the Batman. I mean, the good thing about these tours, I do all my own stunts and special effects. Not like that Robert Patterson. He's in Dix, yeah? He's in the Dix. Because wasn't he a vampire? That's why I put him in the box room and he stayed. 